Hey guys, today we're going to make a huge magical house. Yep, house has been wanting one for a long time. First of all, we need to make a good base for our multi-story house. Don't worry, darling. So meant for your house. Oops. <laughs> Sam's right. This wall goes here. I just wanted to say that we'll start with the most important part of any house. Huh. I thought that the kitchen's the most important part. Um, didn't you want to say the refrigerator? What are you hitting at? At your appetite, mister. <laughs> huh. I have the perfect slime appetite. If you say so. Huh. These windows look different. Anyway, besides the kitchen, the roof is also a very important part of any house. Uh, what could we call a roofless house? A uh, convertible? I don't think there are any houses like that, Sam. <laughs> yeah, we kind of be senseless having a roofless house. Even for Elsa, who loves it when it's snowy all around. But we'll have these wonderful windows on the roof. Elsa can watch the stars in the night sky. Hello. Is it okay that we have a giant hole in our house? That's not a hole. It's a special place for... For what? For what? Hmm. I won't tell you just yet. It's a surprise. Oh, I hope it'll be something cool. Of course. Just as cool as our Elsa is. Wow, then it's gotta be something magical. Guys, these sparkly stairs will connect the first and second floor. But safety comes first. Check out this banister I've just made. You're right, but it should be beautiful as well. Oh, they're so sparkly. Of course, it's a magical house. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like it so far. And don't forget to hit the bell button. Ew, don't you think this house is too big for just Elsa? What, do you want to move in with her, Sammy? <laughs> No, I'd rather just come visit her. <laughs> Why are you so nervous? Because you can't get what I'm talking about. I mean, she'll feel lonely in all this space. Hmm. I don't know, Sammy. Some people never get lonely with just themselves. I'm definitely not one of them. <laughs> yeah, you're totally the soul of any company, Sammy. <laughs> Okay, I better go ask Elsa's opinion. Be right back. In the meantime, we'll finish with the windows. Huh? Check out our transformer house, guys. Wow, Sue, I didn't know you could do that. Yep, we can close it like this whenever we want. It depends on your mood. Cool, but uh, right now my mood is to keep it open. <laughs> As you wish. I made this toy as a present for Elsa. I heard that elfin statues bring harmony to the house. Whoa, it's so pretty and cute. So we need to furnish this house immediately. Don't worry, Sammy. I got this. We'll start with the bathroom. I doubt that with her love to frost, she'll never need a hot tub. Besides, it doesn't look... Elsa style. All right, I'll go ask Elsa what color she prefers. The tub should be white inside anyway. Right, guys? And from the outside, it could be sparkly. Let's use some magic and... Pop! Wow, I like this color. So, look what I made. What a sweet rocking chair. It will look great right here. And, uh, where should we put this extremely important thing for any house? <laughs> um, hold it. Let's decorate it first. It's better if it matches the tub. So, how do you know Elsa's taste so well? <laughs> I'm just doing whatever I would like to have at my house. Oh, maybe you're also a winter fairy then? Winter or not, I do know a couple of tricks. For example, how to create a perfect bathroom for Elsa. There you go, Sue. Elsa could enjoy the sunset sitting on this chair. Oh, that's right. This balcony is perfect for that. Guys, have you already subscribed to our channel? There's plenty of interesting craft ideas. As well as many interesting decor ideas. <laughs> Elsa shouldn't be starving. Let's make her a cool kitchen right now. I wonder what she likes to eat. I gotta find that out. I bet she and I have a lot in common. All right, Sammy. 
Elsa loves chocolate just like me. Woohoo! <laughs> Who doesn't like chocolate, Sammy? We'll put this beautiful chair right here. Oh, Elsa, you're gonna love this house. Guys, we're decorating our house in a winter style. That means all the furniture should be in cold colors. You know what kind of colors those are? Um, things like blue, violet, and green. Uh oh, we've got a problem. This way Elsa won't fit in the house, but no worries. Uh, <laughs> That's better. Wow, Sammy, so you and Elsa do have something in common. Magic. Now we can make a perfect bed for her. Hop. This way she'll be extremely comfortable. <laughs> Elsa also likes to sing. Her voice makes all the bells ring. <laughs> Sammy, is singing also something that you and Elsa share? Yep, she sings like a bird. And so do I. Here, take this purple cabinet. Let's put it right here. And this is a tiny bassinet. I didn't know Elsa had a baby. Oh, well, she might have a baby someday. Oh, and I'll feel so cozy in this room. Hey, Sue, what was the surprise you told me about? Ta-da! Oh, it's a car! Do you like it? Yeah, it's awesome. The garage is just perfect. I wonder if Elsa needs a personal driver. Oh, please, Elsa, tell me that you won't choose Sam to be your driver. Oh, I love our furniture so much. Here goes one more drawer. No, working as a driver for Elsa is not for me. All the snow and drifts, I'd rather craft. Elsa can store cosmetics in this dressing table, so it's better to be standing where she'll do her makeup. Whoosh. Huh? Huh. And here's the wardrobe. Two, Elsa said she has a lot of outfits. So this is great. Look how I handle this cart. Ooh, how cool, Sam. Well, now this room is furnished. We haven't finished the kitchen yet. Here comes the sink. A little decor can make any furniture beautiful. Wow, so it looks like a winter fairy tale. Up everything here so magical, I can feel Elsa's happy. And we can also personalize it. Hop looks perfect. I'll go and see if there's still something left that we forgot. Well, of course, Elsa's books. She reads so much. Thank you. Let's put them right here. And more books. She must have a whole library. <laughs> Let's put this one over here. And a pretty little rug. It's so soft. Here comes Elsa's favorite fragrance. Mmm, smells refreshing. <laughs> but not as refreshing as the snow. <laughs> oh, don't get cold, Sammy. <laughs> and what is your favorite fragrance, guys? I love watermelon. It makes me feel warm even during cold winter evenings. And I like the smell of pizza. Well, everyone knows that. There you go. Last but not least, the Christmas tree. We'll put it right here. What a perfect atmosphere. Don't forget about the present. You're right, Sammy. There you go. The drapes. We forgot the drapes. All right. Yeah. What would I do without you, Sammy? Okay, guys, we're done! Come on and check out this magical house for a Disney Queen Elsa! All the best. Sammy, we're not done yet. Oh, come on. Let's find out Elsa's opinion about her new house.
too see this coco animated film is stuff or something <laughs> i know sammy no matter how many times i watch it it always makes me cry listen how come we've never made a crap face on coco huh Oh, you're right. What an unforgivable mistake. We just have to correct it. Actually, I already have a million ideas. We could make those masks for El Dia de los Muertos. Or we could make those flying magical animals. Or better yet. Huh. I already know what we're going to make. And believe me, it's absolutely epic. Hi, guys. Today we're going to need a lot of cardboard because we're going to make an amazing craft inspired by the Coco animated film. What exactly is on your mind, Sue? Do you remember how you always get excited whenever they show the land of the dead in the film? You bet! That's the most beautiful and extraordinary city I've ever seen! Wow! Exactly! That's why I thought it'd be nice to have a piece of it in your own room as a nightlight. What do you say, Sammy? Susan, you're brilliant! Okay, tell me what to do. I'm fully at your service! <laughs> That's easy, Sammy. We're gonna need a lot of houses. I mean, a lot. And the best part is, they all should be different from each other. Whoa, I can already see something! Right, Sammy, so you can take a piece of cardboard and make one as you wish. Okay. In the meantime, I'll cut this one out. Guys, be very careful with the cutter, because it's really sharp. <sighs> this is taking too long. Let's use some magic. And hop! <laughs> That's better. I've got an idea. Let's glue the tracing paper to the back of the windows. That's great, Sammy. But first, we need to paint all of the pieces of the house. Decorator Sam is here to help. And... Wow, Sammy, it looks perfect. Guys, you can use the tracing paper of different colors. This will make the whole lamp even brighter. Let's add some glue to the inner side of the facade of the house like this. And make sure that the tracing paper covers all of the windows like this. Hey, Susie! Here's the house that I've made. I hope it's not too small. Don't worry, Sammy. We'll definitely find a perfect place for your little house. So, what do you say about mine? Huh, don't you think it looks too simple? Why don't we make the facade of this house look more festive? bibbidi bobbidi subscribe -y! <gasps> wow, Sammy, you're an amazing architect! What do you say, guys? Doesn't this deserve a thumbs up? Actually, I challenge you that the next house that I'll make will be mind-blowing! Deal. Huh. <sighs> okay, guys. I have to come up with something spectacular to beat Sam in this house competition. And I've got an idea. Do you remember those beautiful Mexican hats? Especially the one that belonged to Ernesto? Let's use more magic. Hop! Ha! Wanna give a tribute to this evil, though remarkable character? Uh-huh. We need to connect these pieces together. Be careful with the hot glue. Whoa! <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna fail this challenge! Ha <laughs> ha! Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I knew that! I finished! I won, Susan! Huh, <laughs> I doubt that, Sammy. The mission was to create an unusual house, and yours looks quite usual to me. What? Don't you see this magnificent roof or, or the decor of the facade? I put my soul into it and you only managed to do this! Uh, what is that, by the way? Half of a flying saucer? Actually, it's the roof of one of the houses. We just need to glue it like that. You see? We'll just add some details to it. There you go. What do you say? Does it look like a singing Ernesto? Holy cannoli show! I must admit this house is totally a winner! Do you agree, guys? Then give it a million thumbs up! Sam and I are both great craft masters! Why don't we join our forces and make the next house together? Hmm. Sure, Sammy. <laughs> what are you up to? There's so many arches in here! <gasps> hey! What is this? Whoa! Guys, check this out! More arches! Each city normally has its own main building, you know, so I thought that ours should have this. Let it be a residence of a phantom mayor or something. Okay, then. Let's glue everything right now. Remember to always be careful when working with the glue gun, guys. Here we go. Now let's glue all the parts one by one. Sue, you're working so fast! 
Great job! Thanks, Sammy. Let's have the roof here. Like this. Hmm, I think something's missing. Up! <laughs> awesome! A building like this should have a strong foundation. Awesome! This little cat over here will look great when the lights are on! I just love it! Shu, I'm feeling like we need a little break. All right, Sammy. Guys, we'll be back in a second. Sammy, where are you? I'm a bit busy. Give me a minute. Okay. Guys, while Sam is still not here, I want to surprise him a little. <laughs> Do you remember how in the Coco film it all started with a guitar? Miguel dreamed of becoming a musician, even though his whole family was against it. And when he finally managed to get Ernesto's guitar... His adventure actually began. <laughs> And then he got into that land of the dead, and the guitars and music were there all of the time. So, the instrument is basically a symbol of the whole Coco story. Now let's decorate our guitar. And done! <laughs> it looks just like the cartoon! It looks awesome, Sue! <gasps> Sammy, you're back! And I come bearing gifts! Wow, that mask is stunning, Sammy, and it perfectly fits the whole theme of our nightlight. It looks like I wanted to surprise you, but you surprised me instead. Great minds think alike, Shu. <laughs> and on top of it, we're best friends, so... Uh... You're right, Sammy. <laughs> and we're just about to make our friendship even stronger by finishing this craft together. It's easier to start from the top of our lamp, so this house comes first. Oh, I got it, Shu. Our nightlight will be hanging on the wall. Of course, the Land of the Dead is a vertical city after all, and your Ernesto's house will glue the guitar like this. Shoo, look! I have another house for you! I bet it will be a perfect match for our lamp! So, guys, let's speed it up a little. Check out how colorful and voluminous it is! Da 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 da! Guys, just look at this beauty that we made! Hold on, that's not it. We're gonna need this. Guys, oh, you better ask an adult to help you with this stage. We need to make little holes like this to be able to install these cute lanterns. Here we have a wire. We'll put the wires through the opening like this. And pull carefully. Let's install the lanterns here and there throughout the whole city. To make the lanterns work, we'll have to connect all the wires. Guys, you better ask an adult to help. Right, Sammy, but those lanterns will not be the only source of light in our lamp. Check this out! We've attached this LED strip light to the base of our magical city! Shoo, I found this weird colorful controller! What do we need it for? Using this controller, we'll turn on our lamp. Let's check it out. It's so cool! Shoo, we have to speed up! I can't wait to see our lamp on the wall! Whoa! I hear you, Sammy, but we still have a couple more things to install. Check out this beauty! This is a very important part of the decor. So, guys, are you ready? Hop! Switch off the light! I got it! So, 
Tammy, what do you say? How do you like our Coco style nightlight? <laughs> Tammy, is something wrong? <laughs> so, it's so beautiful. I knew this was gonna be a remarkable craft, but I couldn't even imagine it like this. Guys, I hope you also liked our craft today. And if you try to repeat it, remember that you can create your own city and choose any color and decorations for it as you'd like. And if you don't want to miss any of our crafts in the future, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. Bye bye <laughs>